Good evening and a warm welcome. You're watching the headlines today special broadcast on the big battle for Maharashtra here in Villapale East in Mumbai. And joining us are a whole bunch of voters who are eager to have a go at the leaders representing the various parties. I want to introduce the Netas who are joining us on this special broadcast, starting with China NC, spokesperson for the Bharatiya Janta Party. Also with us on this broadcast is Abhishek Sapre from the MNS. Chaturvedi, National Spokesperson for the Congress Party. We've got with us Narendra Varma. He's the National Spokesperson for the NCP. Uh, and we've got Jitendra Janavde, Spokesperson for the Shiv. Now, what I want to do now is give as many of all of you, people who've gathered over here in sultry Mumbai this evening, an opportunity to ask questions. We'll start with this young man here. I want to ask you a question from Uddhav Ji. You made a statement that BJP is Abzal Khan. तो उनकी जो बीएमसी में जो गठबंधन है वो कब तोड़ रहे हैं और अनंत गीते जी कब छोड़ रहे हैं मंत्री पद अपना तो एक तरफ तो डाइवोर्स हो गया लेकिन अभी भी आपका मंत्री बना हुआ है लाल बत्ती यूज करके घूम रहा है दिल्ली में क्यों हो रहा है ये उद्धव जी समय आने पे बराबर डिसीजन लेने वाले अभी अभी ये चुनाव का माहौल है चुनाव के माहौल के बाद नहीं पर लगता है की शिवसेना में कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं है कोई आइडियोलॉजी नहीं है अगर आपका आपकी डाइवोर्स हुई तो फुल डाइवोर्स होनी चाहिए ना ये क्या कि डाइवोर्स भी हो गई आपको दिल्ली की मलाई भी चाहिए नहीं मलाई की मलाई की बात नहीं अभी ये महाराष्ट्र की लड़ाई है मलाई की नहीं लाल बत्ती की बात नहीं नहीं लाल बत्ती की बात किधर है लाल बत्ती अगर शिवसेना के पास इसके पहले भी आई है अभी भी आई है लेकिन शिवसेना है वही अपने जगह पे है महाराष्ट्र की आनंद गीते मंत्री क्यों है आनंद गीते मंत्री क्यों है मंत्री है लेकिन चुनाव के बाद माननीय उद्धव जी ठाकरे वो बाद में डिसीजन लेके अभी महाराष्ट्र की लड़ाई है बाद में केंद्र का और मुंबई महानगर पालिका का अपन सब मिलकर सोचेंगे और उद्धव जी बराबर सोचेंगे नहीं पर यहाँ पे कितने लोग हैं ऐसे जिनको लगता है कि आनंद गीते के मंत्री बना रहना अभी ठीक है हाउ मनी पीपल अग्री विद दैट आपको लगता है कि आनंद गीते मंत्री बने कितने लोग मानते हैं कि आनंद गीते को मंत्री नहीं होना चाहिए अगर डाइवोर्स हो गया तो मंत्री नहीं होना चाहिए शिवसेना वाले सर देखिए जवाब जनता का आपके सामने नहीं ठीक है वो हिला रहे कुछ कह नहीं रहे नहीं ये अभी जनता की सोच है जो लोकसभा के चुनाव हुए थे सारे गठबंधन ने मिलकर महायुति महायुति थी हमारी महायुति के सभी गठबंधन के महायुति के सभी मतदारों ने मिलकर वहां पे चुनाव में मतदान किया था सभी से राय सभी गठबंधन के नेताओं से उनकी जनताओं से बात करने के बाद उद्धव जी ठाकरे इस निर्णय पे आएंगे बट चाइना वाइल्ड इज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर द शिवसेना विच इज नॉट बींग सेटिस्फैक्टोरली एक्सप्लेन द रियालिटी ऑल्सो इज यू आर इन बेड विद वेन इट कम्स टू द बीएमसी इवन नाउ आफ्टर हैविंग डाइवोर्स ऑफिशली This is not a BMC election. This is an assembly election. The issues are very different. The reason the alliance broke, obviously, they had their uh, desire of 150 seats. We, as an aspiring party on a legitimate claim based on merit, our strike rate has been phenomenal. 2009, if you look at the figures, if you look at 2014, a legitimate claim. If there is a deadlock, clearly there is a time constraint. Nominations needed to be filed, and that is the reason. Getting that apart, what is the road forward? Are we going to approach people vis-a-vis -vis BMC elections or vis-a-vis -vis the Lok Sabha? No. This is an election where we are reaching out to every person in Maharashtra saying that if you want a stable government, if you want a progressive government, if you want a government that has shown leadership, as in the centre, vote for the same. No, but I was in Mathushri this afternoon, in Shaina. And the word there is that the BJP has lost credibility. A party that cannot take care of its ally of 25 years. What about somebody else How having an aspiration and sticking to that? to give a credible government to Maharashtra? Where is the question of credibility, Rahul? This is about political aspiration and based on statistics. They fought more seats than us last time in 2009. Still, they've got 46 M uh, 44 MLAs. We fought less. We got 46. Despite that, you have over 33 seats where the Shiv Sena even lost deposit. What was our claim? We were only saying, give us 130, you all take 140 and let the allies take 15. This is not a question about... BJP must be so Strike rate BJP ka better tha. This is not a Shiv question Sena of... Shiv Sena ko bhi thoda adjust karna chahiye tha na? This is yeah, yeah, not a yeah, question of Rahul. credibility. This is a question of political aspiration and legitimate claim. Oh, Shiv Sena ke balbut, balbutte ke upar badi hai. Shiv Sena is Maharashtra mein sabse... बड़ी भाई है और भाजपा ने शिवसेना के पीछे कि बिफोर दिस दिस इलेक्शन लोकसभा बिफोर इन 2009 आई थिंक वेर शिवसेना इस टू गेट 11 सीट्स एंड एंड बीजेपी इस टू गेट 8 9 सीट्स तो आप तो उसमें आपको कम होना चाहिए 
Look at the response that we have got post no. 2009. Isn't political aspiration part of every no, political party? No, no, no. In the Lok Sabha no, election, Lok Sabha, you we are have got a, a much higher strike rate. The question here is that if your cadre and your base no. has expanded, no. your alliance is not willing to give in on a legitimate claim, what do you do? Okay. It's not Priyanka, about do you think not the, the BJP's credibility has been hurt, Priyanka? We about progress in Maharashtra. No, what, what we can make out from both of them speaking, it's very clearly a separation of convenience. They've left a window of opportunity open, the post results. If they need to come together, they will come together because they haven't separated. As a view with the NCP. No, no, very clearly when our breakup has been total, they've got... We obviously, we do not have a uh, government in the center, but it has been in totality. While they have kept their ministers in the uh, center, they are still uh, continuing with BMC. So obviously, it's a window of opportunity, the post-election. So people of Maharashtra should know when they're voting for BJP, they could also be voting for Shiv Sena. And when they're voting for Shiv Sena, they could be voting for the BJP. Sab ye sab band karo abhi. Modi ji, Mumbai mein aaya. Mumbai, Mumbai. Mumbai mein aaya. Mumbai. मुंबई में आने के बाद में छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज का नाम लेता है ये कैक का रिपोर्ट है जो 18 जुलाई 2014 के अंदर पार्लियामेंट में टेबल है सारे एयरपोर्ट पे जो छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज का पुतला था जो 9 साल कैद में था यही शिव प्रेमी ने उसको हाई कोर्ट में जाकर रिट पिटिशन फाइल करके अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी और बाला साहब ने उसको नामकरण किया और आज शेम ऑन यू ऑल सारे एयरपोर्ट का पुतला आज मरोल पाइपलाइन पे लेके आया जिस पाइपलाइन के ऊपर 10 मीटर के दायरे में कोई कंस्ट्रक्शन नहीं अभी उसको उठा के आप हाईवे पे ला रहा है और आप क्या बात कर रहे हैं शिवशाही का ये देखो कि आप शिवाजी की बात करते हैं लेकिन करते कुछ नहीं है हु वॉन्ट्स टू आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन is not anybody's private property. If you have the tallest leader of the country and the Prime Minister come and pay respect, I don't think this is an area of contention at all. We have an election which is going to be fought on a progressive plan. You have burning issues. You are burning issues. You are burning issues in the state where there's farmer suicide and agriculture. Does Shafsena talk something? BJP talk something? But when it comes to when it comes to Shivaji, they are not willing to defend him in the uh, in the uh, assembly. Very clearly, where are they? Where are their voices? Exactly. Unko bolo. Okay, let China answer that. One second. One second. No, no. Okay, you have kept your talk. Now, sit down. We have had enough of Modi bashing. Every single opportunity. Everyone wants to give him a certificate. I don't think we need it anymore. 2014 has been testimony enough that he has got a mandate which is That's based what? on majority. Internationally, internationally, please let me complete. Internationally, it's a moment of pride for every Indian to see the tallest leader of our country and of the nation per se is canvassing and canvassing in a state which has gone from number one to number six and is trying to get it back on track on the progressive track. By having the same Maharashtra center and number central one. government. Maharashtra has been languishing under the Congress NCP. He'll improve the fortune. The I Maharashtra. just want to ask you then why Modi CM, that is from Gujarat CM, comes to Maharashtra and tells every investor and every businessman of Maharashtra to leave Mumbai and come to Gujarat? Why? Why do they tell that? If he wants to make Maharashtra number one, after taking all businesses from Maharashtra to Gujarat, I'm just... I, I just don't understand. I just don't know how is Maharashtra going to become number one. Now, please let me talk here. When they were talking, I wasn't interrupting. Okay, peace, peace. One no, I was like a gentleman yes. standing in between these two, and now you're yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So the thing is, how how come is Modi going to make Maharashtra number one when he's going to take away all the businesses from Mumbai, all the businesses what are from you Maharashtra? Talking? What, are you talking? what am I talking? They're anyway trying. They've gone because there's been no, no 15 years of Congress. Here, Madam, I would like to tell you a simple place. thing. Once, once who comes to Mumbai doesn't go back. That's our problem. It's not a problem with the investors. Once who comes to Mumbai never goes back. What is the reason? Just look at the history of Mumbai. Let me ask that question. Because the charge is that Gujarat is doing better because under the NCP Congress government, Maharashtra languished. Pichar gaya Maharashtra, aap ke rahe thi. This is not true. If you see the statistic, when you talk about the foreign investment, 
in our regime we got 58000 crore rupees wherein in gujarat it's only 15000 crore rupees when you talk about the it sector we have 35000 crore rupees investment let let me talk let me talk let me talk shaina let us finish and when you talk about the per capita income of man in maharashtra is 1 lakh 9000 wherein in gujarat it's only 92000 rupees per capita income so the statistics which is given by modi is fake Maharashtra is much ahead in lot of fields than the Gujarat. Then, then why do you think people of Maharashtra are so unhappy with you? No. Why did you lose so badly in the Lok Sabha election? Listen, listen, listen. The Lok Sabha election is fought on separate issues and the assembly is fought on the separate issues. If people are not happy with us, they have not given us, they would have not given us three consecutive terms. The Sena BJP was a chance in 19, uh, 1995. Uh, they were not repeated. Wherein NCP Congress repeated thrice. And we have done tremendous work. They have been given one chance. No, don't give yourself a certificate. No, no, I don't understand this. Rahul, I don't understand this. Narendra Verma is saying NCP and Congress have done a tremendous work. Then why their leader Ajit Pawar is criticizing the chief minister? Let, let him clear that. If they have done a tremendous work, then why break the... Your relationship was yes, so long, which you have been doing. Think, when, when, when you talk about politics, and then you talk about the alliance government, then that, there comes convenience. convenience. Let me speak, my dear friend. The, 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 the NCP <laughs> never took nine years to give a blueprint. MNS and Sun, nothing for the Maharashtra. They took Aray, nine at years. Least, at least nine we took the initiative. The we they took the initiative to show the Maharashtra. Okay, I can't have everyone speaking at the same time. One at a time. So, so the graph, Aap the graph, the blueprint, you the, the, your blueprint. The, 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 the graph of MNS. Fifteen years, your blueprint is only about corruption. The, the, nothing the, else. The, the graph of MNS has come tremendously down. Raj announced that I'm going to fight assembly election. Then he withdrew. He threw. He knows that and he cannot win. He cannot win. So what I say, it. whatever NCP during his regime, we have done tremendous work and people of Maharashtra what will decide. The no, but this... Yes. Yes. Your deputy yes. 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 about urinating in them. Has public forgotten that? About, about, uh, about irrigation scam, the opposition demanded Madhav Chitraya committee and Madhav Chitraya committee gave a report there is no corruption and irritation. Okay. This Maharashtra ki janta, this assembly chunao mein, Congress, Rashtavadi ko ek bada jawaab dene wali hai, Shiv Sena ki sarkar ane wali hai. Hamare Paksha Pramukh Uddhav Ji Thakre Saab ka vision, vision, vision documentary dekho. What I want to do now, we'll continue this discussion. What I want to do is play out excerpts of an interview Rajdeep Sardesai did with Uddhav Thakre, the Shiv Sena chief, where he talks about the Shiv Sena's vision, the reason for the divorce with the BJP. So here is Udav Takre speaking exclusively to headlines today. You are saying that Pradhan Mantri can't come to Maharashtra, can't come to the campaign? Absolutely. Because Pradhan Mantri is not a party, it's a country. But he's a leader of BJP. He's a leader, but when he was given to Pradhan Mantri, what did he say? I will do it with all the Nagarikos. I will do it with all the Nagarikos. समानता से व्यवहार करूंगा तो मेरे जब मतलब बाला साहब जो कहते थे सिर्फ नरेंद्र भाई के खिलाफ मैं नहीं हूं खिलाफ तो नहीं हूं मेरा कोई विवाद नहीं है उनसे लेकिन बाला साहब ने ये बात तब कही थी बहुत बहुत साल पहले जैसे अभी पृथ्वीराज जी ने इस्तीफा दे दिया अजित पवार ने इस्तीफा देने के बाद उनकी सरकार हार गई एक मिनट में पूरा करता हूं तो पृथ्वीराज चौहान ने इस्तीफा दे दिया ठीक है तो अब कोई महाराष्ट्र में मुख्यमंत्री नहीं है फर्क ये होता है जब आप और मैं अगर चुनाव लड़ रहा हूं लड़ रहे हैं मैं एक एक मिनट पार्टी का लीडर करके लोगों के सामने जा रहा हूं और आप प्रधानमंत्री होने के नाते से आप सबके सामने जा रहे हैं तो फर्क होगा नहीं पर कहीं ना कहीं आपने इस पर्सनल बनाया है नरेंद्र मोदी जी नहीं बिल्कुल सामना ने भी बनाया आपने भी बनाया है कई बार आपने आक्षेप किया है नरेंद्र मोदी पर नहीं नहीं आपके आप कह रहे हैं कि आपने नरेंद्र मोदी के खिलाफ कुछ नहीं कहा आपने कहा है आप अभी भी कह रहे हैं अभी भी कह रहा हूं क्योंकि मेरे दिल में कुछ नहीं उनके लिए ऐसी कोई कटुता की भावना नहीं क्या मेरा विवाद हो सकता है नरेंद्र भाई और मेरा झगड़ा लड़ाई क्यों हो सकती है तो क्यों हुआ है हो गया है कैंपेन में हो बिल्कुल इस, इसी के कारण मैं ढूंढ रहा हूं बीजेपी ने क्यों रिश्ता तोड़ा हमसे आप आज कह रहे हैं कि बीजेपी आपको एक तरह से संदेश दे रही थी कि अगर आपको रहना है हमारे साथ तो कुत्ते की तरह रहो बिल्कुल यही अर्थ हो गया उसका यानी बीजेपी ने आपको एक तरह से बिल्कुल कुत्ते की तरह ट्रीट किया है 
कुत्ते की तरह फिट किया नहीं लेकिन वो चाहते थे कि रहे तो ऐसे चुप भरूंगा तो चुप बैठो नहीं तो और फिर मैंने यहां तक कहा कि भाई देखो कैसे होता है राजदीप लोकसभा चुनाव में बीजेपी के पास कितनी सीट्स थी पूरे देश में तीन से ज्यादा लोकसभा में सरकार लाने के लिए कितनी क्या आवश्यकता होती दो सौ सारे मित्र पक्ष साथ में थे थे ना एनडीए की सरकार थी ना फिर बीजेपी ने मिशन 272 सेवेंटी टू क्यों किया किया ना हमने आक्षेप लिया कभी उसका विरोध किया कि भाई ये क्या है हम साथ में हैं तो मिशन 272 सेवेंटी टू क्या है और आपने रास्ता दिखाया मेरे पास मार्च में 169 सीट्स थी तब मैंने अगर मिशन 150 किया तो उसमें मैंने क्या गलत किया आप करते हैं तो सही है मैं करूंगा तो गलत है ये मुझे नहीं बर्दाश्त कर सकता दैट वॉज दूदे लेट्स क्वेश्चन From the people who've come over here at Vellore Pali, go ahead. I have a question for the Congress. Every time the elections are announced, you all extend the cut-off date for the slum regularisation. This is nothing but politics of entitlement because you all have not performed contrary to what the NCP colleague of yours has said. I mean, every time. Uh, That's a good question. That's a very good question. Priyanka must respond. I just like to say one thing here. When we talk about slum rehabilitation, uh, slum redevelopment, there are many more challenges that we face. These are people who have settled here for years. just getting them to move away and move out is a difficult task in itself just just a second let me answer this but when we talk about cut off dates we also need to understand that when we talk about rehabilitation we have uh, many other agencies which is a huge challenge but there are many other agencies also which are involved in something like this so yes it is a challenge but it it should not be looked at as politically it's more the the challenges that the people face if they are you know removed from that particular place china how we would your party approach slum redevelopment big way and differently we have from the ncp and the congress congress ncp have only played vote bank politics election after election they have appeased sections of society given out freebies stops etc the bjp is saying enough of this let's empower every single citizen who lives in maharashtra his or her life through good Now how will you deal with slum through one minute one minute if every person is economically empowered as well as in our blueprint the way we have talked about low cost housing i think it is not just a vision plan on paper but it will be in, implemented by 2020 mr sapre how will the mns deal with slum I, i like to say one thing it will take 10 years for them to empower everyone so again 10 years they will be also uh, taking that cut off date uh, but What 10 will years you ahead do? and about us raj sahab has clearly said i think two days back in his uh, rally he clearly said when mns government is formed that will be the last day of any kind of jhopad parties in mumbai last day of increasing number of jhopad parties and what will he do that's a very far fetched promise which i'm sure what you will, will he do yourselves not be able to execute there will be a complete check on whatever is happening around in every area there will be certain no. kind of organization yeah. yes yes already talk about sra and that sra will be carried by the government carried out by the government and not by private builders mr jitendra janavde what will the shift sena do with shiv sena ka pehla hi jab shiv sena ki sarkar aayi thi shiv sena pramukh mananiya bala saheb thakre ji ne sra jo is mumbai mein lai maharashtra mein lai shiv sahib shiv shai punarvasan yojana ye shiv sena pramukh ne chalu ki lekin congress rashtrawadi ne wo sra ko pura bhajja udaya aur 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 yahan pe हमारे मित्र जो जो अभी अभिषेक जी ने कहा अभिषेक जी के नेता ने तो दादर में बड़े बड़े कोहिनूर के टावर बनाए झोपड़ी झोपड़ी कुर्सी में वो उन्होंने उसी पार्टनर है उन्होंने उन्होंने देखे भी नहीं देखे भी नहीं है देखे भी नहीं है उन्होंने ओके मोर क्वेश्चन हम लोग अपना चेक बेच के भी निकल चुके हैं माई नेम इज प्रसन्न नायडू आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क बीजेपी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव वॉट अब प्रोजेक्ट इफ दे कम टू पावर विजन डॉक्यूमेंट एम एन एस हैव स्केप दिया ब्लू प्रिंट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू आस्ट विजन इज मोदी मोदी इज द विजन नो दैट इज नॉट ट्रू वॉट एवर प्लीज एक्सप्लेन बिकॉज इन एवरी एडवर्टीजमेंट दे ओनली से कुटे नहीं उठे बोले महाराष्ट्र माझा दे आर नॉट पुटरिंग वॉट एवर द प्रोजेक्ट का मला बोलू द्या एवढं मराठी प्रेम मोदींना शिकवा आम्हाला काहीच प्रेम बोलता मराठी अननोटिस एंड इनकम्प्लीट वेदर इट्स द कोस्टल रोड इन्शोरिंग वी आर बुलेट ट्रेन ensuring that mumbai is not just a world class city but also gets back the taxes we pay 
we've had uh, when we talk about women's empowerment you see the kind what of are your condition plans rate one minute one minute Tell the condition the rate is plan. 9% one single plan of women empowerment one second irrigation scam over 70000 crores of a scam where you spent 49000 crores on irrigation we don't even have 14% she is not clear she is not clear on bjp's vision she is not clear on bjp's vision you have no vision you have no vision you want to these guys only talk to me they do nothing unemployment tell you one thing I is this not a vision plan? Okay, what let him tell me. I, I like to say one thing. I still remember. Before the Lok Sabha results. Everybody can't speak together. One at a time. I, yes. Time. Before the Lok Sabha results, when Modi uh, was campaigning throughout India, when he was being interviewed, I think by your channel only, he was asked, will you have a dialogue with Pakistan? He said, when bandhuk and bum ke dhama ke ki awaz hoti hai, to baatchit ki baat sunai deti hai. Now what's happening? When One China second. was coming inside the country, Hello. he was the sitting on the leader uh, come on. independent who has When made Pakistan is attacking what India, he is sending peace gifts to Pakistan. You know, for so the they don't have a vision since plan. the time he came back they from the United States, and say, and say, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been crisscrossing Maharashtra and Haryana. He's been busy on the campaign trail. Today, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi also got activated. He came out to Maharashtra campaign for the first time in the build up to this assembly election, and this is what he had to say. मिट जाएंगे मर जाएंगे मगर आपके लिए खड़े रहेंगे After the disastrous drubbing in May Rahul Gandhi has been virtually absent from the political scene Save for a non-descript appearance in JNK during the floods it seems like the grand old party beleaguered without 15 year old former ally NCP is prepared to fight this battle locally for Maharashtra But following Prime Minister Narendra Modi's blitzkrieg campaign in Maharashtra ahead of the assembly polls on 15th of October, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi finally began a seemingly last-minute campaign in the state today. Rahul began his campaign from Raigad district in Maharashtra, coming to the aid of erstwhile Chief Minister Prithviraj Chavan, who was so far being seen as being stranded by the party leadership in the face of Modi's star campaigning for the BJP. Prithviraj Chauhan ji. साफ नेता हैं, काम करने वाले नेता हैं, मार्केटिंग वाले नेता नहीं। Most Maharashtra Congress leaders who used to earlier fall over each other to invite Rahul during the earlier polls seem to have not invited him to campaign now. The BJP, on the other hand, has made arrangements for Prime Minister Modi to hold a whopping 24 rallies in the state. The Congress's vociferous defence of their Crown Prince and his own statements too lacking conviction. All campaigns are part of a strategy. Uh, nas national leaders don't engage with local elections to the same extent to which they will engage in national elections. Of course, Congress President and Rahul Gandhi uh, ji is our Vice President and they are asked the, each and every candidate request for their meeting. But it is not possible physically for them to address all the meetings where they are being demanded. <laughs> जिसमें महाराष्ट्र बाकी प्रदेशों के आगे नहीं मगर बीजेपी के नेता यहां आते हैं कहते हैं भैया महाराष्ट्र को मैं गुजरात बनाना चाहता हूं अरे भाई आप गुजरात से आगे हैं While Prime Minister Modi appears to have worked up frenzy among voters with his aggressive campaigning for the party the Congress is being blatantly half-hearted The mystery over the CM candidate in the state too only adding to the apprehension in the mind of the voters चौहान और मेरे में लगा के देने की बात कर रहे हैं ये अच्छा नहीं है उनको हम प्रोजेक्ट नहीं कर रहे हैं एज ए सी एम वो जो सी एम थे उस वक्त वो जो काम करते थे उसके बारे में वो काम देख के आप वोटिंग करो ये हमें कहना है राहुल गांधी फर्स्ट इलेक्शन कैंपेन इन महाराष्ट्र and there was a sizable crowd that had gathered here to listen to the Congress Vice President. But then going by the looks of it, it seemed that with the lackluster performance, Rahul Gandhi failed to cut an impression at a time when the youth in various parts of Maharashtra is talking about corruption, unemployment, lack of development and projects which have not been finished. Just Modi mashing perhaps was a not good enough stance that could have been taken by Rahul Gandhi. 
Gandhi's visit is significant for the party as he is the first central party leader to campaign for the crucial elections where the party is battling huge odds to back power for the fourth consecutive term. But last minute sporadic campaigns may just hurt that cause. With Pankaj Upadhyay, Bureau Report, Headlines City.